All right, Chad Spalding here with Independent Stave Company once again. I am joined today by uh, our friends at Sagamore Spirit, Max Hames. He is the Distillery Operations Manager at Sagamore. Max, appreciate your time. Thanks for having me, Chad. It's good to see you. So we were chatting a bit before we came on camera, and you guys are still uh, in the uh, we're in the COVID area, of course, and you're still you guys are still in the in the hand sanitizer process. Is that correct? Yeah, feeling lucky that we can uh, contribute in some way, focusing pretty much 100% on that still, and uh, always keeping our eye on rye and uh, thinking about getting back into whiskey here when it's safe, acceptable. Yep. So anyway, we uh, we chatted a bit, but we'll just get to right into the questions that everybody wants to know about, Max. Uh, first of all, how did you get started in the spirits industry, and, and how long have you have you been in it? Yeah, I don't know how, how many people want to know that about me, but uh, back back a long time ago, it uh, feels like about 10 years ago now, I was a commercial salmon fisherman in Alaska. I'd go up there and do seasonal work. I was always looking for things to do in the, the rest of my year, and that took me to a lot of places. But at one point, uh, I was introduced to a group of folks building a distillery from scratch in Brooklyn, New York. So I joined that team as a founder. I helped build the distillery from the ground up. Uh, we built all the equipment. We built the walls from scratch, and uh, it took me to running and operating the equipment that we built. And I found that that kind of work ethic in our industry wasn't something I'd really come across in too many other places. Definitely found it in fishing, but that product focus, uh, pride and joy was uh, really special. So eventually spirits went out. I stopped fishing and I really devoted myself to this industry 100%. That was 10 years ago. Wow, I, that's pretty good long time for, for folks in the in the distillery business. So it's great to see uh, that you stuck around and you enjoyed it and, and really like to get your hands and dig into it. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're in a very unique industry here, and uh, I don't think a lot of people were really introduced to it as an option when I was getting into it. You didn't know that you could go and build something from scratch, like a product uh, such as rye whiskey, or at the time I was making vodka, um, and since then I've got my hands into a, a hundred different things, but I was really lucky. Got it. So uh, you guys are a proud partner with Independence Dave, and we appreciate Sagamore team. And do you have a go-to ISC barrel um, that you like, and, and for what reason? Well, our bread and butter barrel, y'all, is your Char Four American Standard Whiskey barrel. It's a phenomenal product to work with. But I, I actually would like to talk about another line that you have: your your small batch uh, barrels, specifically your Wave State barrel one that we work with a lot. Uh, back when we were starting up, we were looking to explore the impact of fresh oak on, on our straight rye whiskey. We were concerned that a traditional barrel would risk over oaking the whiskey, so we found your wave stave barrels that got a lighter char, and uh, that expanded surface area really gave us a lot of tannins and lactones that helped structure the whiskey with those fresh flavors while kind of doubling down on the sweetness of American oak, so we have all of that vanilla, caramel, toasted mar marshmallow amplified while giving it some younger structure as well. Uh, we loved it. We do bespoke blends for all of our finishing products. Uh, so with the, the Wave State barrels, we blended up a batch of whiskey that had a, a sweeter mash bill of rye with our higher rye mash bill and uh, found that the sweetness really complemented the full product and led us to where we, we've got it today. Oh, it's. It's by far one of my favorite. Uh, the Ural's Toasted Barrel Finish product is amazing. And for any of the folks listening, you, you should jump out there and try and find you uh, find yourself a bottle of the Sagamore Spirit Toasted Barrel Finish for sure. Yeah, we, we love working with it and we want to explore it more with how successful that's been. Sure. Uh, well, thanks for that. And thanks for the compliment on the Wave State Barrel for sure. Uh, it's, it's starting to catch on and you guys were early on in that in the wave stave uh you know not too many people knew about it before you guys and you guys jumped on it quick and now it's starting to take off a bit right on yeah so uh you're a cocktail drinker max so you drink your your sagamore rye neat what's uh what's your go-to kind of cocktail or drink and well 
for me, whiskey is a lot about the experience. I mean, it's one thing to build a product from the ground up and enjoy it, but sharing that with others is, I think, truly one of the joys that we get to we get to have. Uh, my favorite cocktail that I can get is probably one that I'm going to find out at, at a bar in Baltimore. Uh, on menu, off menu, whatever it is that a bartender has put their creativity into, that's that's what I want to taste and experience. Um, then again, if I'm at home, I'm drinking it neat. Yeah, they, the, the cocktails they can come up with these days uh, with, with brown spirits, whiskey and bourbon is amazing. And um, I, I'm kind of like yourself. I, I'd like to try one of those off the walls that they uh, dream up in those crazy minds of theirs from time to time. Uh, the creativity is outstanding. It's something that we get inspired by ourselves. And uh, it's really cool to see what somebody can take with your, your work and effort, give it new life. That's a great way to put it. So, uh, so you have a crystal ball there in front of you. What's it say for, for yourself in the, in the Sagamore Spirit brand? Yeah, well, as, as you know, and many other distilleries out there know, we're uh, in the middle of COVID-19. So while right now we're 100% focused on hand sanitizer, not anything that I think the crystal ball could have told us, uh, we're keeping our eye on rye. We're looking at getting back into it as safely as we can. Uh, as soon as we can, it's our passion. So it's what we want to get back into. Um, you know, we're focused on rye whiskey and Maryland style rye whiskey. To that end, we want to bring Maryland back into our process. So I work a lot with local farmers, maltsters, uh, forestry experts, people to source as many raw ingredients from our immediate area as possible to input into our process. So we're growing rye, we're growing corn, uh, we're malting rye, we're malting barley, we're harvesting Maryland oak, we're doing everything that we can to explore our uh, local local resources and see what we can do with uh, local industry partners. Sounds like a blast for sure. So uh, as distillery operations manager there at Sagamore, what's the favorite part uh, of being in that position there? I mean, I like being uh, I like being part of a team devoted to inspiring a global passion for Maryland rye whiskey. Our team is hardworking, innovative, creative. Uh, we're constantly reinvesting in our team to build knowledge and translating that knowledge to our products. That's what I love. I love working as part of our team. And if you weren't in that position and uh, you weren't distillery manager at Sagamore, what would your dream job be, Max? Yeah, that might be a hard question for a lot of people, but for me, it's actually really easy. I'd go back fishing. I loved it. And uh, the sockeye salmon, they're starting to run right now, so. Up in the Alaska area they are? Yeah, you, know, you, start, you start getting that itch every every summer, and uh, it's definitely right in it right now, so I, <laughs> I'd go back fishing. Got it. Well, uh, Max, I appreciate your time once again. Uh, appreciate your your partnership and the Sagamore team's partnership with ISC. Uh, we love working with you guys, and hopefully, when all this breaks, uh, we'll be able to sit down and have another brainstorming session with you guys and come up with lots of exciting new stuff and new barrels for Sagamore and, and your team. Uh, thanks for your time today, today again, uh, Max. Right, thank you, Chad. It's always a pleasure.